second. The first half between the Colts and Texans featured multiple servings of offense. Colts got the first score of the game, T.Y. Hilton finding the end zone for the second straight Sunday. He had 100 receiving yards in the first half. Houston came back with the next 10 points. Colts would retake the lead after that. Naheem Hines gets into the end zone in the final minute of the opening quarter, his third touchdown of the season. Later, Phillip Rivers with the short pass to Jonathan Taylor. He had only one touch in the game prior to this, but would go untouched to the end zone to give the Colts a 21-10 lead. The teams combined for 502 yards of offense in the first half. Indy was up 24-20 at the break. We got a lot of guys in our running back room that can make plays, whether it's through the air or on the ground and pass protection, it, it doesn't matter. So my biggest thing was whenever my number was called, I had to make sure that I was executing because I know the team is counting on me and I know the other guys in the running back room are counting on me. Defenses dominated after that. The Colts got the game's first takeaway late in the third quarter. Kenny Moore simply taking the ball away from Brandon Cooks. A scoreless third quarter left the Colts leading by four to start the fourth. Taking a big chance to make it a two score game. Fourth down and one, Taylor gets stuffed in the middle of the line. Colts pass up some sure points, but leave the Texans buried deep. Uh, a lot of confidence in that call the situation. We had momentum. We had a good drive going. Um, you know, my gut feeling and our confidence in our offense to pick up the play. There was multiple options on the play. Just a few plays later, Justin Houston comes up big for the D. Takes down to Sean Watson for the safety, extending Indy's lead to six. But the Colts defense would have to get it done one more time. They get some help with a bad snap to Watson under 90 seconds to go. Grover Stewart dives in, keeps the ball loose. Anthony Walker recovers, and that seals the win. Hold your breath all the way to the end. The Colts escape with a 26-20 victory after a most improbable shutout in the second half. you got to believe me. you got to play to 0-0 on the clock. You never know what can happen. I've been around this game so so long, you honestly saw so many plays that uh, happened at the last second, so many crazy plays. So you always got to believe and you always got to continue to play the zero, zero on the clock. The only thing we had in our mind was we got to stop and we can't let them score. It's too late in the game. And we got the strong, like, while well, we did one of the top defense. Great play by our defense, being strong, you know, hanging in there. They, they're moving the ball. Um, the Shawn's a great quarterback, um, you know, fought hard all game. They, they, the team, their team fought hard all game, but we knew that uh, you know we, we we had enough to make a, a goal, a, you know, a game winning stand, and we were able to come up away with that. Obviously, the defense came up with a big turnover, a big safety. Obviously, the big turnover at the end to win the game. So, you know, special teams had some huge plays. Come on, we get called back. But, um, I don't know. I mean, I, I think we found out we can win anyway. I mean, we can win anyway. We found plenty of ways to win. We're going to hang in there and stick together no matter what. The Colts got some help from Cleveland on Sunday. The Browns taking down the Titans in a big way. So the Colts and Tennessee are now tied for the AFC South lead. Titans hold a tiebreaker at the moment, but both teams have eight wins with four games remaining. The Colts play in Las Vegas against the Raiders next Sunday. Brad Brown, WRTV Sports.